Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. It's <coughs> 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 better. I had sorry I had some Danish bacon last night. So it's about ten in the morning on a Saturday and the C6 needs work. And although I was doing a video the other day saying, oh, I don't know what to do with it, I don't know whether to sell it, I don't know whether to keep it, put all that to one side, it does have problems and it does need fixing. And even if I was to fix it and then the car be sold and then broken, which would make me sad, this would all be in vain. But there's a chance I won't sell it and there's a chance that I'll keep it and there's a chance that these things need repairing. And these are repairs that I have had in mind to do for quite a long time, especially when I rediscovered the radiator problem, which has been there a while and I'd forgotten about. Also, I have a problem with a leak down here, which I think is the thermostat housing. I hope it's the thermostat housing because that's what I've got to replace it with. So. So today's jobs are thermostat housing replacement, which is buried under here, header tank replacement, radiator replacement, and condenser replacement. And I have all the parts. I have instructions on how to do them. I have two sets of instructions. This is Citroen's instructions, which are three pages long. And this is a, a forum member's instructions. Uh, Steve, I think it's the Steve who gave me the uh, the thermostat housing bits, this is his instructions. These are seven pages long for the same job. So, yeah, varying degrees of difficulty expected. I have a radiator. Well, this is a box, but there's a radiator in it. And I bought a condenser. Now, I don't know if the condenser is uh, the reason why it's not working, look at the air conditioning, but for the sake of, well, it was 95 quid. I have to give a shout out actually to the people I got these off. Uh, Wacky Racers on eBay, 115 quid for the radiator, 95 for the condenser, free postage, uh, next day delivery. Both of them on the nose. Great, really, really good service. Um, both Nissan's brand, not Nissan, Nissan. Uh, these are decent aftermarket ones, so I'm very happy with that. I have a new header tank because that one's old and manky and this one's not but also you'll note I have a sensor in this one that is out of a Citroen C5 this is a low level coolant sensor the C6 doesn't have one Citroen stopped fitting them in around about 2005 I think because they were experiencing issues with the coolant uh, working its way up the sensor through the plug through the wire in a capillary motion and bricking the ECU. The water would find its way all the way through. So they stopped fitting this. They didn't think, oh, we're going to change the wiring or we'll put a connector in it or something, or we'll, we'll find a way, or you know, we'll find a sensor that doesn't soak up coolant. They said, nope, we'll just do away with the sensor. So consequently, the C6 has no low level cooling sensor. I'm going to raise the car because my back's beginning to hurt. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got radiator, I've got condenser, I've got tank. I also, because of uh, said Steve's help, his advice, bought a new injector return harness. Because apparently I'm going to smash this up, trying to get the thermostat housing out. We'll see what happens. So, first thing I need to do, according to both sets of instructions, is drain the coolant. Ugh, it's going to be horrible. This is a new problem I've been having. I've been undoing the cap. And it's been, the guts of it have been stuck in there. There we go. Yeah. And it has dropped that level. I only topped that up the other day. So, yeah, that's not ideal, is it? So the thermostat housing is in here. In, in the V underneath this. This has all got to come off apparently. I remember how much fun I had getting that Jubilee clip off when I did the belts last time, so the drive belts and things. So yeah, that's got to come off. But I'm hoping that taking this tank out will give me a little bit more access, but apparently there's a drain port 
on the bottom of the radiator. I mean, I've probably, well, I've obviously done it before because I've drained the coolant before. I just can't remember where it was. But my radiator has definitely been spraying. Looks like there's been actually potentially a leak here as well. Looking at that, I might. I might inspect that, that pipe. Hopefully I've got a bit of silicon that probably sort that. But yeah, yeah, that radiator is not looking clever, is it? Can't believe I left that on all around France. Dear oh dear. That just came out of the radiator. Not ideal, is it? I want it known though that there is crud in this bucket to start with. So what comes out, oh, I'm out of, out of shot. Still no tripod. So what comes out of this, when you see loads of crap floating in there, it's not all from the car, but far more of it. I think someone put some stop leak in it once. So I'm also going to be doing a proper flush, but because I've got a new radiator. Oh, come on, there we go. Um, because I've got a new radiator and a new header tank, I'm gonna flush the rest of the system with a hose with some fresh water and hopefully clean it out. I think that might have just been loads of crud that was sat in the bottom of the radiator. It doesn't smell like old coolant, no, it smells like it's that stop leak stuff. That was so minging, I'm actually gonna try and purge it a bit now. Oh, don't drip water into the LA, L, LHM, LDS. I can see it coming out, it's still orange. I'm starting to get a bit clearer. See, the drain is slowing down. So you think, oh, I've got the cooling system empty. But, no. Compressed air is your friend. There's tons still in there. All right, I've got another pipe to take off here. That's annoying, it came off in one piece. I thought it was gonna break and I'd go, oh no, my pipe's broken, because I've actually bought a new one. But it didn't, oh my God. Hmm. Nice. Oh, wow. Lovely. Oh, that's horrible. Look. Ugh. All right, so now I'm into the realms of following the diagram or the instructions. So I'm gonna go with the forum instructions. Uh, disconnect these electrical connectors. That's one of them. That was easy. Oh, there's more. That one. That one. There's me a pick. This one. I can't see why I'd need to undo all these, but that's what the diagram says. So what I shall do, I'm guessing that black one there, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. No, hang on, I've forgotten how to count. One, there's a two there. Nope. Right, one, two, Three, four, five, 
Sick, is that a sick one up there? Oh no, it is this one. Idiot. They're all different. Every single bloody connector is different. Oh yeah, it's definitely been leaking in there, I can see it. Right, so that's all the electrical connectors. Remove these very brittle swell valve tubes from the rubber unions. It says they're very brittle, but I can't figure, <laughs> is it these? Oh, I see, they're very brittle like that. Right, okay. Oh, he was right, they are very brittle. Uh, who's put that P-clip there? Oh, that'd be me. Remove this screw. The clip is very brittle and release the fuel pipes from these clips. Well, um, I don't think I need to undo that screw because the clip doesn't appear to be there anymore. But it's good to know that there was once there. Once was once one there rather. So press in these coloured latches and separate the fuel pipe. Oh. Well, they don't want to come undone. Do you have to push? Well, you have to pull these out. He didn't mention that. Diesel everywhere, I'm guessing. Yep. It does say in there that if the car's got more than half a tank, don't do it because it will just empty itself. But being my car, this does not have more than half a tank in it. It has very little. Right, that's the first page done. Disconnect this. Ah, oh, that diesel is just so dirty, isn't it? It stinks. So I've had all this out before. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I have. I might recognise that. And there we go. Oh, God. I haven't slackened the Jubilee clip enough. Damn it. I'm all fired up for it. I've had 10 chocolate malted milks for breakfast. All right, there we go. Oh, you didn't mention this connector, did you? Right. Uh, actually, that's got a bit of a stash forming down there now on the floor. The brittle plastic latch tabs. Oh, mine are already broken off. That's fine. Release the EGR pipe clips using long nose pliers and a flat bladed screwdriver. This one, and there's another one for the front bank. Oh, I've got the tool for that, I think. I have got the tool for it, just not here. I wonder if this might do the same thing. It says you can reuse these clips. It certainly looks like you can. Oh yeah, okay. With you. Five minutes later. See the problem? literally touched it and it fell off i mean why do they make them out of plastic <sighs> so that goes there or at least it did go there so i'm guessing i don't have one of those right see ultimately it is not electrics and complex suspension and things that kills cars like this and will prevent cars like this from becoming proper classics. It's plastic. I mean, so, I don't know if you can see that down there. You can see some, hmm? can see some stains 
on that bit there. I think that's where it's been leaking, but it could also have been coming out of here, where the brown stains are. The uh, plastic has just sheared off completely. That's still in the hose. Obviously, there's the one that broke. The radiator. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, there's the top hose spigot for the radiator. A chunk of that is missing. If I push my thumb into it, I can just pull bits of it off. It's just falling. Ugh, I mean, and like, the whole engine is full of it. And it's not just this car, it's not because it's a C6. This is just modern cars. This is what they're like. And that is why these are going to be harder to run as classics than something like an XM or DS or SM, which I own. Now I've got the anxiety of going to look in the box of free bits that the uh, very kind Steve, who I believe is the author of the guide, uh, brought down and hoping that of all the million different hoses there are on this car, this is one of the ones he's got in there because he might have thought, well, I might break that when I'm doing that job, I'll buy one. I don't think there is one in there, but I'm gonna go and have a look and disappoint myself. So I've just looked in the pile of bits and two of the parts I need, I do not have. He's given me a lot of other hoses, but that ain't one of them. And I'm sure that's gonna be very expensive. if I can even get it. Oh, did I mention I'm supposed to be going on holiday in this car in two weeks? But I have at least uncovered the thermostat housing. And the soot and everything that's in the intake. There we go. Why won't that come off? What's that gonna break? Here. It's pressed onto something. And that's why he's suggested that I buy the injector return loom. But I didn't actually end up breaking it. Uh. Well, it's definitely been leaking. Sit rep. It's raining. I'm having a bad day. So, some parts have broken. The car is immobilized. I don't have the parts. Did I say it was raining? I've been through the parts. I've kindly been donated. One of them is this. This is, I think, uh, I think this is on the heater hose circuit. Goes down the front of the engine there. I've heard people say these let go and because they're made of the same, but I was gonna say plastic that Citroen have made all the other coolant pipes out of, but I think, I don't think it's plastic. I think it might be biscuits. Um, I'm gonna change that when I do the radiator because I'll have access to the front of the engine. Also, I have this. This pipe here is the one that goes onto the bottom of the header tank. The hell is that? Someone is dragging a massive trailer around with a go-kart. Um, yeah, so this is that pipe, this, this is that hose rather. Plastic connection, plastic connection. Perfectly reasonable rub pipe with some gacky plastic on the end of it. Why? So you can't buy your own pipes, I suppose. Uh, well, you can, but you have to buy them from them. Uh, I've also got this. This is the uh, bottom radiator hose. That pipe there connects to that big one I just had there. These go to the transmission oil cooler. So that's gotta be worth looking at as well. I'm gonna change these because there is plastic involved in the middle. I've been giving them, I might as well fit them. Again, I can get to them when the radiator's out. Uh, what else have I got? Nothing here. Right, yes, that's right. So that's all the stuff I've got. The stuff I need, I haven't got. Um, that is 1351LL, 
which is a short, much well this. It's basically that, right? This is how stupid, stupid they are, right? So you've got a rubber hose there, a little elbow, yeah? A little rubber elbow. Pushes onto a spigot, clamp. Pushes onto a spigot, clamp. But it doesn't come as just a rubber elbow. It comes with the plastic crap on the end of it. And this is already attached. Why? Why? Why do that? Why not make the housing out of metal and just push the rubber onto it? So that is um, a perfectly, actually in perfectly good shape, well, a little bit swollen. Yeah, it is a little bit swollen. So that is gonna be changed. Um, one of the parts I got donated was a top hose, which I might fit, I might not, I don't know. It's a second hand one. Uh, it does look like it's probably cleaner than the one I've got. Probably slightly better condition, but not a huge amount in it, if I'm honest. Um, the other pipe I've had to order is still on the car. It goes from the rear EGR uh, water exhaust gas heat exchanger over the top and into the thermostat housing. I have to buy the whole pipe. It's 170 pounds with discount. So I've just spent, I'm looking at this go-kart thing again. Right, now there's two people on the go-kart pulling a trailer. I'm not gonna film it because it's other people and they might not like it. But I think the go-kart must have like a centrifugal clutch or something. And I imagine that's getting quite hot. Anyway, so I've done all that. Um, yeah, I've been on, uh, I've been online. I've, I've had one bit of good news today. Um, I bought some parts. I bought my, I'm gonna give them a shout because I think I'm happy with the service. So this is the injector uh, return harness, which apparently I was gonna need, but so far it doesn't appear I do, but I am tempted to change it because it's plastic. Um, and that came from a place called Euro Car Care. Not an advert, but you know, credit where it's due. That arrived next day. And uh, I've been back on their website. I've ordered the main hose I need. I've ordered um, the short one that goes, the little um, degassing tank, they call it, the little round tank. I'm not gonna film it because it's raining. I'm not going back outside. Um, but there's a little round tank on the front of the engine. Um, that's plastic, so I thought, well, that's crap as well. So I'll change that. Um, and then I ordered a thermostat housing. I know I've been donated a thermostat housing by Monsieur Steve, but I looked at the dates on it and it looks like it's as old as the car. So it had not, not been used. I don't know what it is that kills them. I don't know if it's age. I don't know if it's water pressure. I don't know if it's temperature, who knows, but I'm not gonna muck about. I'm, they're 47 quid, I'm just gonna buy a new one. So the order would have come to 250 quid from Euro Car Care. Euro Car Care offer a discount to Citroen Car Club members. This is why you should be in car clubs. Citroen Car Club member discount code, bosh, 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 30 quid off. Membership for a year is what, 50 quid? I've just got 30 quid of it back. Brilliant. Um, and you get an amazing magazine, which I sometimes write in. So, yeah. Um, so I've got a new thermostat housing coming. I've got two new hoses coming. No, three new hoses coming. 1351 LL. They didn't do. I've had to order that online. I could have ordered it through Citroen Parts website, but I ordered um, that coolant pipe that I was going to be all cocky. This one here, which I thought was going to break and didn't. Um, I ordered this from Citroen Parts uh, website and it took ages to come in. It was like four or five days. So, whereas Euro Car Care and Wacky Racer off eBay, both next day. So, um, I went on the Citroen Parts uh, website. Um, microphone's still working. I went on the Citroen Parts um, Direct website. They do list that hose, but it took so long to get the last one. I'm just thinking, oh. I found one on eBay. It was five quid cheaper, and it gives you an idea of the date. So uh, the funny thing was, when I got these bits from the various places I've been buying them from, they'd arrived and been unpacked, and I'd looked at them and gone, oh, that's nice. 
And then I got a message from Citroen Parts saying your order has been processed. Good news, your order has been processed. Processed. Good news, your order's been processed. The other ones are here. So yeah, there we go. Um, so what I would like to do now is take the front bumper off, but I can't because it's raining. Well, I can, could do it, but it would be awful. So I've immobilized the car. It's on high. I don't want to lower it because, well, I can't lower it. I can't start it. I can put it in neutral and roll it back and that's it. It's just... Well, that's gone well, hasn't it? And in two weeks time, I'm supposed to be driving to France in it. Well, around about two weeks time. I'm supposed to be going back to France, only for, a, only for the night, but I'm gonna have a sandwich.